Good morning, guys. Captain William Wise here, Captain Caleb Wise, Badfish Charters. Um, we're gonna head out this morning to the bridge, uh, Skyway Bridge, catch some bait, and we're gonna walk you guys through what we do personally to get our bait on a daily basis for our trips. I know there's sometimes a lot of confusion about how we get bait in deeper water, what kind of nets we throw, what we chum with. So this morning we're gonna go out and take you step by step through it and hopefully it'll clarify some things and maybe somebody will learn something from it. So we will see you at the bridge. Basically what I do is I idle the edge of the bridge until I start marking, you know, getting, getting some good solid marks. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, I'm looking for the, the marks that are on the bottom, the thick marks on the bottom like this. A lot of times that's your, that's your white bait, your green backs. Um, if you start getting schools up higher in the water column, most of the time, that's going to be your thread fins and your sardines and stuff like that. So for Tom, we're using Purina tropical fish food and we're just mixing it with salt water. We don't normally use menhaden oil or anything like that or jack mackerel. We just like to keep it simple and easy and clean. Um, don't be afraid to be generous with your chum, you know. A lot of times it can affect the way you catch your bait, so just make sure you get a lot of chum out there. And for cast nets, we, uh, we're using a 10 foot net. 3 8 mesh and it's about 1.3 pounds per foot a lot of times people think you know you need a really heavy net to catch bait in deeper water that's not always the case because really what you want to do is make sure you let it sit and let it sink you really want to make sure it sinks and normally that's gonna that's gonna affect the way you catch bait and for the better so all right Soupy. Yeah. I'm gonna throw up front a little bit, chum up front and where it drifts back. Let's see if we can get these suckers up this morning. chum for a minute. I need some more. I need some more chum in here. A little too much water. Yeah, I got it a little soupy. Tide's going back towards the bridge. So what I'm doing is I'm chumming up towards the front of the boat. We're anchored from the front. And uh, letting the bait, letting the chum drift back to where we want to throw the net off the back corner. Hopefully bring them up behind the motor. Sometimes you can see them. Uh, it just depends on the tide and depends on really how they're reacting to, uh, how, how they're reacting to the chum. A lot of people don't chum this heavy. I, you know, I, I prefer it, I think. <laughs> I've always been a, 
I've always been a more is more kind of guy. Yeah, he's a 200 pounds of chum in one week. You don't, you don't have to. A lot of these guys come out here and they'll, they'll bring a gallon or, or two gallon Ziploc bags full and that, that usually gets it done. But, uh, well, there are days that 50 pounds makes a difference out there. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely days we get out here and more is more. So, let's see what we're marking. So you can see some of the bait starting to come up off the bottom into the chum. I hope you can see. I think you can see. But that's that's what we want to see is we want to see that bait that was tied to the bottom start raising up. And uh, we're going to give it a shot here in a second. And the deal is out here in deeper water. Let it sink, let it sink, let it sink. Can't, can't stress it enough. A lot of times when you think it's down, let it sink some more. And even these lighter nets, you don't have to kill yourself with a heavy net out here. A lot of these, a lot of people throw, saying they got to have a 1.5, 1 1.9. 1 um, and we and we do carry those nets because there are times where the bait won't come up off the bottom and they start getting a little, a little shy. But uh, generally, this net right here gets it done for us. Did you get them? Quite a few. All right. They ain't bad. They're down there. Not bad at all. Let's, Let's see if Shannon got them. Dude, I thought you said that Nat wouldn't catch bait. Looks like it catches bait to me. A good shot right there. Yes, sir. Uh, Show you what we got. Pretty much blacked it out. Took us about uh, you know, it, it took us probably five throws. So it's not it's not always not always one and done. Some days it is, some days it ain't. If you have any questions or or need to know anything else about getting bait in Tampa Bay please feel free to call. My number's at the end of the video. I'd be happy to help anybody. Uh, uh, if you need any tips on throwing the cast net or anything like that, absolutely give us a call and we'll hook you up. So right now we're gonna shut it down, see what it'll, see what'll eat these things. Thanks for watching.